past and how it can help us move forward. I'm with actress and comedian, Emmy Award winning actress, Kristen Johnson, who stars in the latest film, Small Town, Wisconsin. Kristen, I was thinking this character that you play, Alicia, um, tough love, tough sister, tied into the character that even our audience responded to, Tammy Diffendorf from Mom, um, yeah. another tough, strong, resilient type of character. When you read these scripts now, especially at this point in your career, are you searching for someone that you would like, someone that you identify with, or is it a character that you just want to escape in? Oh my God, it's probably a combination of everything. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's really just in the writing, and if the story is something I would want to walk myself, then I'm all I'm all in. Yeah. Do you cry in films? Like this is a this is a tearjerker. Yeah. I mean, this is a two eyelash. I always say that. That's how many eyes. <laughs> when you wear like fake eyelashes like me, it's a two eyelash. I sell that. We're going to market it. This is a two lost <laughs> eyelash moment. Do you cry in films like this one when you watch yourself? No, not when I watch myself. I'm usually fairly horrified. No, you know, I'm just, <laughs> I just. I, I find it really, really difficult to watch myself. Like, I've never seen an episode of Third Rock since if they aired in the what? 90s. Yeah. I mean, I love doing it, and I'm so proud of it, but I just, I don't know why. It makes me really self-conscious. Um, and I think I've seen one episode of Mom, which I watched with my mom. So, wow. Um, <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm acting so shocked, because I don't watch myself. I feel like I'm performing if I watch myself. I notice everything. So to yeah. keep an authentic relationship... I don't yeah. watch it because I'm starting like, oh, my watch was dirty or, uh, yeah. and, or yeah. my favorite. All I see when I watch was I see teeth and eyes. And I'm yeah. like, that's all I see. I yeah, said, well, you got good ones, so oh there you go. <laughs> Listen. Uh, thank you. I do, I do want to applaud you and, and thank you for being so open about your diagnosis with lupus. I think it was in 2013. Um, yeah. You talked about going to somewhere around 17 doctors before you finally yeah. got a proper diagnosis. We just did a show on medical gaslighting with women and how many mm -hmm. women go into the doctor's office with mystery illnesses yeah. and are told you're being emotional or you'll be okay. Thank you for stepping up and, and telling that story. Uh oh, it's good. I mean, I was also... I also went to the Mayo Clinic. I mean, it was just this endless round. And and because the type of lupus I have, it's lupus myelitis, which is the hardest to diagnose, but the easiest to treat, wow. thank God. But um, I couldn't really walk. I couldn't hold my own neck up. You know, I had to wear a, um, a neck brace to even, like, hold my head up. Um, but in... So finally, when I got the diagnosis, it was such a relief. You know, it was chemo and IVIG and all this stuff and a huge weight gain, which is another thing that people don't talk about with um, autoimmune diseases. A lot of time, the meds you take just make you balloon. Yeah. Uh, so which as an actress can be kind of tricky. <laughs> um, and it was it was really a difficult adjustment for me to kind of adjust to sudden huge weight gain. And but but. I was able to walk, yeah. and I was able to hold my own head up, and now I'm in remission. So oh. It's a good end. <laughs> well, the movie is beautiful, and the next time you're yeah. in New York, come on by here and see us. We'd love to give love you a big ol' hug. <laughs> Thank I you so much, Kristen. Thank, Thank you. you. Kristen's new movie, Small Town Wisconsin, is in theaters today, and it's also available on streaming platforms.